Good afternoon, everyone. I got a comment or a question from, I think it's pronounced Fipe. He wants to know if he can settle three pair of pigeons or just breed out of them. They were a gift from a flyer that's only three blocks away. And I replied to him, I think you can do both. But I don't want to go into that yet. I can't make another video without commenting on Fran Francisco Hernandez. I've spoken to him on the phone several times, and he's worked very, very hard. He had his second race. The first race, I think he was 10th. But in his second race, he won it with a pigeon way out in front. That's his club level now by six minutes. He also clocked fourth, fifth, and sixth. I think 11th, 12th, right down to the 24th position. They were all in the top 10%. So, boy, that man deserves a round of applause. He did fantastic. He worked very hard. Like I say, I spoke to him on the phone and he is beside himself. He's a new flyer. And within two races, he wins a race way out in front by six minutes. But he deserves it. He worked hard, very hard. Congratulations, Francisco. And I can't tell you how happy I am for you. I really am. But let's get back now to Fipe. He's got three pair of pigeons that were a gift. He wants to know if he can settle them. Or should he just breed out of them? And like I said, I think he can do both. He has to mate them birds up in his new loft. He also has to teach them how to trap into that new loft. They got to learn how to get in. So take your time, mate them up, trap train them. Very shortly, They'll lay eggs, and this is the perfect time of year. This is November. So he could mate them birds up and time it and so that when the babies hatch, it's in 2018, early January. He can have young birds. Once he gets them on eggs, he can let the hens out. His friend is only three blocks away. The birds will probably go back the first time. He goes back, he gets them, or they might just return. You'd be surprised. They might just return to get on their eggs. They might not even go home. And he could settle them. You do that three, four times. You let the hens out, let them come back. And then you let the cocks out. You can always go get the birds at your friend's house and settle them. Let them breed the young ones. You'll have young ones for 2018. You can do both. And you can probably raise those birds, too. Once they're settled, and feeding young ones in a coop, pigeons, uh, they'll adapt to that new loft without any problem. I made a video on this way back when my father got the birds from a, a friend that we had in New York City. We let them out, all, all on X. They went back to New York, but there was a friend there who chased them. And by that night, them hands were back. They were back in the loft. The following day, we did the cocks. And by that night, most of them were back. I think we only lost. Two or three birds out of 30 or 40 birds. We didn't lose very many. They came back. And we flew them. We could let them out. They could fly. They would. They resettled to that new law. So if I'm pronouncing your name right, Fipe, you can do both. Just put them on eggs. Trap train them. Make sure they know how to get into the loft. And then let them out. 
The worst that can happen is they go back to your friend. You can get them back. Do both. Also, a little advice, Felipe. Worm them birds, coxie them birds, and canker them birds. And make sure you keep the loft clean. You do that, you're well on your way. You got a good start. Three pair of pigeons. You get a good one in there, boy. You can do a lot of damage with one good pigeon. You can do really well. So I guess that's it. If you got any questions, uh, Fife, put in the comments. I'll reply. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. Thank you for wa for watching. Subscribe. And check the channel. There's a lot of videos. Especially on this topic. There was one good video on this topic. Go back and look at it. It'll go a long way in helping you out. Thank you for watching.